Do you play NBA 2K20 and sometimes get confused on what are the best playmaking badges in the game? Well, don't feel bad. Don't feel, you know, weak or threatened because sometimes even myself, I get confused on what badges should I equip first? What should I get next? How, like, should I get something on Hall of Fame? Well, today we are going to be ranking each and every playmaking badge in NBA 2K20 from worst to greatest or worst to best however you want to say it this is exactly what we're going to do today all right so we're going to be looking at the list of all 18 playmaking badges and i'm actually going to put them in order and um you guys let me know what y'all think about it for you guys that are brand new to the channel my name is cno thank you guys for joining us for this video and uh if you guys are brand new then go ahead and hit the subscribe button and ring the bell because you really don't want to miss out on videos like this now your boy is trying to become a full-time streamer so you know to support your boy all you really got to do is hit the like button and i would appreciate that all right let's aim for about 200 likes on this and maybe your boy can go ahead and get this streaming pc so i could stream every single day so you know just help me out a little bit but I'm bringing this video to you guys that are a little confused about the playmaking badgers, which are the worst, which are the best, what should you be spending your time on, you know, grinding for, and what you can live without. Now, since my last video that I talked about the, the best playmaking badgers in NBA 2K20 kind of blew up, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys this one so now we can actually take a look at all of them. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So for you guys that do not know about the playmaking badges in NBA 2K20, there are 18 different playmaking badges that you can receive on your player. Now, some of you guys are pretty much all playmaking pie chart and then you guys will have a great variety to choose from, but some of you guys aren't really in that playmaking category so you're not going to be able to get every single badge on this list but if you guys even had the choice or the chance to get any of these badges then i think you should pull the trigger and grind for some of these badges now we're going to go ahead and start with number 18 now 18 being of course the worst and uh we're going to go ahead and move our way up to that number one spot so without any further ado let's go ahead and get into it now the first batch that i want to go ahead and bring up is going to be dream shake i feel that this is probably one of the most useless badges i've never really seen any build on youtube ever put this on their player so you know we're gonna go ahead and look into it real quick dream shake post move fakes have a higher chance of stunning a defender also shot attempts Following post moves and shot fakes have an increased shot percentage. Never seen not one of you guys tell me in any of my build videos, oh, why didn't you equip Dream Shake? I had to put this at number 18 because, I mean, it feels like only bigs will really use this. Like, come on. Let's be honest. A lot of you guys are either shooting guards. A lot of you guys are mainly point guards. Not too many centers are using Dream Shake. All right. So if you're a center, you're probably using a different badge that we're going to go over much later on. But Dream Shake is my number 18. I have to say, bro, this is probably one of the most useless badges. I like I I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think down below. But I, I just don't see you using this, especially as a guard. Now, we're going to go ahead into our number 17. Now, our number 17 is still a little different. Now, it's one of those badges that you really wouldn't think to equip because it's kind of mainly for my career. You're not going to use this badge at the park, at rec, like at pro-am. You're really not going to find a need to use it. And this badge is Pass Fake Maestro, all right? Just because you pass fake does not mean that the defender is going to leave you 100%. That That's... That's not how it works, all right? Some some of these guys on rec, they usually play zone and they're gonna be playing the passing lanes anyway. So you're really not gonna worry about this badge, but we're gonna go ahead and read the description real quick. It says, pass fakes become quicker and tighter, making them more useful in baiting the defense. I don't know about you guys, but I, I just really don't see a need for this badge at all at all this is not one of the key badges that you were you're gonna have to break your your whole grind just to make sure that you get this a hall of fame this is a badge that you can live without now we're gonna go ahead into our number 16. number 16 is a badge that i again see a lot more bigs using but if you're a big you're really not gonna have too many playmaking badges unless you're you know maybe a playmaking glass or a, whatever that thing is called but 
you're not really going to be using this badge and this badge is called post spin technician now i could see post scores using it but 2k has done everything in their power to kind of ruin post scores unless you're a playmaking post scorer then that's a little different but for post scores you remember how op they were in 19 you know what i'm saying so they really just butchered that whole entire build so post spin technician is not going to work the same as it did in 19 and it's a gg like i wouldn't ever put post spin technician even on my big man that i have right now because i have a whole nother badge that is gold and that's the only playmaking badge that you really need for a big man but we're gonna get to that now it's time for number 15 now it's kind of weird how people even use this badge i can definitely see this badge being more useful in like my team or something like that because usually if you're going to get the board you're probably a center and you're not going to bring the ball up the court so this badge is kind of useful if it's my team related but it's a badge that you wouldn't even think about unless you had legend and you were at the park so this badge is called downhill all right so pretty much what downhill does is that it gives a bonus to a player speed with ball attribute in fast break situations now not only does it give a bonus to your player's speed with ball so one you would need this you would need the ball in your hand all right now i don't know about you guys but when i'm playing with randoms i barely get the ball i have a 99 overall sharp shooting facilitator with a 99 standing three or it, it's just a 99 three-pointer in, in general all right and i barely get to shoot i barely get the ball so i can only i can only imagine what you guys gotta go through but if you are you know a small four or a center or like a um a uh, power forward or something then i i don't think you would have this now downhill would probably be a decent badge if you had you know a point guard maybe a shooting guard for those fast break situations in the rec or pro-am but other than that i really don't see this badge doing too much it's not like a make or break on a build i could definitely see you guys maybe putting this on silver maybe bronze when you hit legend just because you'll have those extra badges. But y'all let me know what y'all think down below. But now we're gonna go ahead into badge that placed number 14 on this list. And I feel like it's a cool badge to have, but with all the wacky animations in 2K, it's kind of one of those badges that you really don't need. Just because there's a lot of things that can go wrong compared to the small things that can go right. So this badge is kind of useless in my opinion, and that badge is going to be flashy passer now flashy passer it's dope as crap to use it at the park with you you know your park flashy passes and all that stuff but sometimes it could put you in a little bit of a situation to where there's a lot of turnovers all right now flashy passer if you guys don't know it's after completing a flashy pass for an assist both the passer and the score receive an additional boost to their takeover meters now that is cool and all but unless you got flashy passer on hall of fame and then to mention you're going to be passing the ball to somebody else that doesn't guarantee them to make the shot so what if they miss then what that whole cool little play that you did that whole clip is now ruined so flashy passer yeah i'm sorry bro you got to be number 14. this batch was debunked by nba 2k labs as a badge that really wasn't that useful and that badge is going to be stop and go now stop and go says that it allows for the ball handler to start and stop quickly with unique stops and launches exclusive to this badge now i do feel that stop and go could be a decent badge if it came to you know nba players on my team but when it comes to your park build maybe it's another badge that you would put on silver maybe gold after you hit legend you would just need those extra badges and you'll be fine but until then i really wouldn't waste my time or my breath with stop and go a lot of people just hide behind screens anyway and a lot of people are dribble guys without stop and go which means they're not depending on stop and go anyway so stop and go i'm sorry bro you're number 13. now on to number 12. 
Number 12 is a badge that we can somewhat rely on sometimes, but not all the time. It does matter about the angles. But the crazy thing is, you can still be very successful without this badge. That's the scary part. I can see if you needed this badge to be successful, but you really don't. And this badge is mainly for just getting rep, but you guys probably can already tell what badge this is. And this is no other than Lob City Passer. Lob City Passer is a cool badge. You know, it's cool to get those dunk animations, those, you know, those alley-oops. Like, you know, it's cool, but you don't necessarily need it to throw alley-oops. If you're, you know, your pass accuracy is already high enough, then you should be fine without it. Maybe even this badge on bronze maybe silver would do. You don't need this badge on Hall of Fame because even having my playmaker or my point guard having Lob City Passer Hall of Fame and then my interior finisher having Lob City Finisher on Hall of Fame, we were still kind of messing up on some alley-oops just a little bit. No, we don't suck. But some of those passing animations just... It, it would just go over my player or it, it was just it was just wacky bro so this is a badge that you can definitely live without it's not going to make or break your build if you want to put a couple you know upgrades to it then that's completely fine but i wouldn't sacrifice too much for this badge just because if you know how to play the game then you're still gonna be good all right now on to badge number 11 a lot of you guys are going to disagree with me on this one and you i i don't really blame you but just just listen to my reasoning though all right so number 11 i did look at this badge and it seemed pretty cool but i feel that just because you have this badge i feel that you would think that you can possibly do anything and i don't want you guys to rely on this badge because relying on this badge could possibly make you play a lot worse than you would want to now the badge that i placed in number 11 is needle threader now for needle threader when passing through a tight window between defenders a boost is given to a player's passing ability now a lot of you guys are going to try this and a lot of you guys are going to be like wow how is that a steal wow that's a turnover wow so i don't even want you guys to rely on this back this is the only reason why i put it at number 11 because i feel that if you make smart passes you won't need needle threader if you are going to pass it to a guy in the paint and there's three people guarding him in the paint needle threader is not going to save you it, it's really not so these ball hawks that are out there playing 2k spamming you guys up with the x or the square button they're still going to spam the x or square button in any situation so needle threader is not going to be your savior try again all right try again so now we're off to number 10 now number 10 is something that i can definitely see all big men are going to need now this is the one that i would definitely put on a rebounder if you're a big man that specializes in rebounding this badge is definitely for you now this is the only badge that i have on my glass cleaner and it's pretty much the only badge that i really need and that is break starter break starter is one of my favorite badges has been since you know the previous 2ks now i do admit sometimes this thing is broken but this year it's been kind of good for me i don't know about you guys because of, of course everybody has their own experiences playing this wacky game but my experiences have always been great now i had no more than maybe like five turnovers as a center when i play rec that's just because people be spamming me, people be doing all types of stuff. Now, it very rarely comes from me launching the ball and it go, you know, to the park from the wreck. So Break Starter is one of those badges that I would highly recommend, especially if you're a glass cleaner because you guys want to, you know, advance that rock. Now, for Break Starter, it says, after grabbing a defensive board, deep outlet passes made up the court are more accurate. Passes must be made quickly following the defensive rebound. So, I really like this badge, especially for the big men out there. Y'all let me know what y'all think, or uh, y'all let me know if you guys get wacky animations out of this badge. Y'all let me know. Now, for our number nine. Now, it's kind of another wacky one, but it's one of the ones that I personally like, but 
it really is not going to help you too much, especially if you're out there balling with randoms or people that just don't get greens all the time. All right. Now, this badge is Dimer. Dimer is one of those badges that will greatly help your team, but it don't matter what you do for some of these randoms. These randoms is still going to be randoms. All right. There's no saving some of these guys. You could give a dude a nasty I'm talking about ferocious dot. He's in the corner, open. You already know he finna green that jump, and then he shoots a half bar. Hold on. Is this thing on? I said he shoots a half bar. That's crazy, right? It kind of made you tear up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. That hurt my feelings too. Now for Dimer, it says when in the half court, passes by Dimer to open shooters yield a shot percentage boost. Now that doesn't mean that they're guaranteed to make it. So if you have Hall of Fame Dimer and you're, you know, putting Hall of Fame Dimer over any other of these badges that are still going to be in the top 10, then you kind of, you kind of just out there. You know what I'm saying? You're really depending on someone else to score. Like, that is cool and all, but I'm trying to give you the best badges that's going to put you in the position to just be dominant. And I feel that Dimer on maybe bronze, silver would do just fine. But, you know, I just like having the control and I don't want to put the control in a random's hands that has a negative two win percentage. But, you know, hey, what do I know, right? So for our next badge, we're going to go ahead and put Floor General, another crazy one. A lot of you guys are probably scratching your head right now, but it is in my top 10, of course. But Floor General, like in the last badge, you're kind of dependent on your people to do well. Now, the only thing that I don't like about Floor General is that it only boosts your teammates. So say you're playing with randoms. If little Timothy has a 99.3 but just doesn't know his jumper and he's just shooting all half bars and you know bounce backs that floor general badge is kind of wasted <laughs> you know what i'm saying it, it, it doesn't help you it helps the people on your team so unless you're running with a full squad and they know what they're doing that floor general could definitely be a great badge but you're going to need floor general on at least two people on the court Hall of Fame, at least two people, because like I said, it doesn't work for you. Now, if it worked for you, then this badge will probably be number one, all right? It'll probably be number one, but we got to go on to the next badge. I'm not trying to make this an hour-long video, but you know, it's getting up there. All right, so the next badge that we want to go ahead and focus on is going to be a badge that I think all guards need, but they don't need to go OD with it, all right? There's other badges that are way greater than this, and... um. Yeah, this badge is tight handles. So tight handles is said to, it increases a player's ball handling ability in size up situations, making it easier to break down the on ball defender. Now, a lot of guys just hide behind screens anyway. They just be dribbling the air out the rock and then just be going ham. So tight handles is one of those badges that you can either have on maybe gold or silver. And I wouldn't be mad at you. I wouldn't go into a whole frenzy or a rush to put this on hall of fame unless you had you know unless you were legend but there's other badges that you will definitely need way more than just having tight handles and we're going to get into some of those right now the next badge on our list is coming in at number six now we're almost at the top five all right y'all let me know how this list is going so far if you guys made it this far make sure that you smash that like button on this video um comment comment a fire emoji all right if you guys made it this far you guys are some real ones all right so the next one coming in at number six is a badge called unpluckable now you guys know this is one of the badges that you gonna need because there's a lot of spammers out there pressing that x pressing that square button depending on the console you are on it's it's annoying it's really annoying but unpluckable is one of those things that you really don't need a hall of fame either just because it's not really a huge differential between gold and hall of fame but let's go ahead and read the description for unpluckable it says when performing dribble moves defenders have a tougher time poking the ball free 
with their steal attempts. Now, this is cool and all. It, it, it sounds good in theory, but I've seen playmakers with the playmaking takeover activated lose the ball from a center. So, that doesn't say too much about the badge, but it says a lot about NBA 2K as a game. Now, we all know that 2K, you know, 2K be tweaking sometimes, but Unpluckable is definitely going to help your dude become less of a bum. So make sure to equip this badge, please. Okay, please. I, I can't stress that enough. Now on to our top five. Now the top five are the guaranteed badges that you are going to need to equip to your player if you can get them. Some of these badges you're not going to be able to get some of these badges you're going to be able to get all of them now it depends on the build so y'all put y'all builds down below in the comment section especially if you guys made it this far and um let's go ahead and get into number five number five is something that i feel that not only can help your team but it will also help you get open and that's going to be ankle breaker now hear me out hear me out Ankle Breaker is still a good badge. It's not as OP as it was in 17, but Ankle Breaker can still get the job done. Let's go ahead and read the description for Ankle Breaker. It says, when performing step backs and other certain moves, the defender stumbles or falls more frequently when biting the wrong way. Now, Ankle Breaker is one of those badges that you really don't need a Hall of Fame. Gold or silver will do just fine. But there's another badge on this in this top five that is going to be a great, I mean, wonderful combination between Ankle Breaker and this other badge. And you guys are going to get people up out the way quick. Okay, quick. We're going to get into it. But Ankle Breaker is still a good badge. That's why it reached my top five. Now, we got to go into number four, and that is going to be the badge that you need to combo up with Ankle Breaker. Are you listening? Are you ready? This badge is no other than Space Creator. Space Creator is probably one of the badges that I would definitely put on Hall of Fame, if not gold, if you guys have shot creators if you guys have um anything with the playmaking abilities like bro you don't get how open you can be when you use ankle breaker and space creator but let's go ahead and read the description for space creator it says when performing any step back move or shot there's a high chance well there's a higher chance of successfully creating separation from the opponent now not only does ankle breaker make them fall but space creator gives you even more room for them step backs or them just cheesy dribble moves that you want to perform at the park come on now that's kind of a no-brainer you're going to need both those badges to get yourself open even if you want to just dribble behind screens like it is what it is all right just like the tiktok it is what it is you guys go ahead and boss up with those two badges and you're going to be looking pretty good all right now into our top three now this is where it gets a little exciting all right so if you guys don't already know what badges are in the top three i'm pretty sure you guys don't know the order now some of you guys might be scratching your head at number three but that is completely fine it it, it really doesn't matter to me but i know for a fact that almost every build in nba 2k20 needs this badge at least on bronze this is one of those badges that not too many people can live without and the badge that is coming in at number three is no other than bailout bailout is one of those badges that is going to save a lot of you guys from throwing those scaries trying to pass out of a shot or trying to pass out of uh, out of a bad layup attempt sometimes you don't get the animation that you want so then you gotta pass out quickly just to save the possession and then you throw it out of bounds. Yeah, it happens to me too. So bailout is one of those things that I encourage all of you guys to have. I know a lot of you guys at least get one playmaking badge. If you get one playmaking badge, this should be it. Bailout, it should be it. Let's go ahead and read the description for bailout. Now it says passing out of a jump shot or a layup yields fewer errant passes than normal. Now, it it definitely does work 
and it works a lot on bronze. So I can only imagine if you put it on silver or gold, but I've never had a build that I really thought or I just never really passed out of shots like that to have it on silver or gold. But if you guys pass out of a lot of shots, like this is something that you guys got to dictate. I can't tell you if you pass out a lot of shots because I don't know how you play. Now, depending on how you play, if you pass out on a lot of shots, bailout is probably a badge that you're going to need to go ahead and uh, think about putting on your player. Now we are into our top two playmaking badges. You guys made it this far, so I know you guys are ready. And uh, coming in at number two is something that you guys all need because in NBA 2K20, stamina has been a problem since the game launched. And the badge that's going to help you out the most, especially when you guys are dribble babies or dribble lords or dribble gods, whatever you guys are called these days, Handles for Days is going to help you guys out a lot. Now, let's go ahead and read the description for Handles for Days. It says, a player takes less of an energy hit when performing consecutive dribble moves, allowing them to chain together combos quicker and for longer periods of time you guys get the point like you need handles for days at least on hall of fame or gold i don't know how you guys decide to dribble i don't know your play style but if you dribble a lot and the meter is just soaring down it's just plummeting down bro you're gonna need handles for days handles for days is definitely gonna help you guys get that and of course the gym rat badge and then getting gatorades but handles for days is definitely gonna help you guys out and um, yeah, happy gaming with that. But now for our number one, I'm pretty sure everybody in the video that's still here already knows what number one is. So if you didn't click off this video, you know what I'm saying, then number one is quick first step, kind of a no brainer. You guys all need quick first step, especially for you guys that can get it on Hall of Fame. Bro, that is a whole different type of cheese, bro. By far one of the most explosive things that you could do for your dude that's already going to have speed if your playmaking is already high enough. So you guys already know what the deal is. But let's go ahead and read the description of Quick First Step anyway. I know a lot of you guys already had this equipped because it's kind of a no-brainer. But Quick First Step. When driving out of triple threat or after a size up, ball handlers have access to quicker and more effective launches. Now, I know you guys have seen this at the park because it's almost hard. It's almost impossible to stop unless you're playing some good defense. All right. So this has been all the badges. Y'all, please let me know, especially if you made it this far. Please let me know what my number one badge was down below in the comment section so I can see if you guys are loyal. You probably, you know, you probably skipped. I don't, I don't know. But leave a comment. Let me know what this list is looking like for you. What would you change? What would you not change? You know what I'm saying? Like, just let me know. If you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure that you guys hit the subscribe button and also ring that bell. Now, like I said before in the beginning, I'm trying to stream every single day, but I do need this streaming setup and it costs a little bit of money. So if you guys would really want to support your boy, make sure to hit the like button so more people can see it. And, you know, having a lot of likes is going to put me on the recommended pages. So, you know, more people can see this and possibly a lot more randoms can see this so you know if you go to the park and you match up with a random maybe he saw this video and he got all the right badges but until next time it's been your boy thank you guys for watching and i'm out yeah here go you